Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to make my self-lighting fire starters which were inspired by the fire puck. So, let's go over some of the things you'd need. First, you're going to need some wax, I have tea light candles, some sawdust, uh, shavings with shavings, safety matches, moulds of some sort, these are McDonald's sauce pots and tea light cases, a pot to melt the wax in, and a fire source. I'm using a gel fuel chafing burner. To get started we need to melt our wax. Use a container that you don't care too much about as they can be hard to clean up afterwards. I'm just using an upturned cook stand and steel pot. It's time to add your sawdust and small wood shavings. My wax is a little hot here, you can take the wax off the heat at this point if you wish to. Mix the sawdust until you have a consistency that will hold its shape. And then start to pack it into your moulds. Try to get it quite tightly compacted for a longer burn time. This stage is optional, I just wanted to try it out as an accelerant on some of mine. Break up your sparklers by bending the wire and then grind them up into a dust. Then add a few drops of water and make a thick paste. I found it takes quite a lot of mixing as you get little water bubbles that don't want to mix in. Then, using the spreader, put a layer of the paste on the fire starter. Now we need to make our self-lighting topper. I find using a pair of wire strippers helps, but you could also crush the matches with something heavy. Be sure to use safety matches for this, not strike anywhere matches. Cooks, which I am using, are labelled on the top of the box. Grab your matches and one at a time strip off the striker using the gap in the strippers just as you would a wire. You can see how easy this is with the strippers. However, this can be quite time consuming. We now need to carefully grind up our strikers. Best to do this outside and slowly as possible. Remember that they could light with friction. Once you have a powder, add water slowly and mix to a thick paste. Now add a thick coat to the tops of the fire lighters, covering the whole top surface. Place the lighters in a warm dry place for around 24 hours and they should be ready to use. Here are some of the starters I've made. The sparkler one still needs a striker coating, some tea light moulded lighters, the McDonald's sauce pot one and a bigger one that also has a sparkler layer under the striker. First off I'm going to test the standard tea light fire starter with just a match striker topping. The tea light size fire starter ended up lasting around 10 minutes, which is more than enough time to get a fire started. Now we have the larger fire starter with the sparkler layer. We 
Wow, look at that for a starter. This thing burns so well, I'm sure you'd get a fire started in even wet conditions. This one I've had to edit down as it ended up lasting a massive 25 minutes. It's around 50 pence each compared to around $25 for a fire puck which aren't even available in the UK and a very low weight. I think these are an absolute must for any emergency bag. <laughs> 